are you there? Here we go. So, some of the ladies in Cape Breton wanted me to demo how I do the dip dyeing of the full skeins. So to prepare your wool, you got to kind of make a couple of handles on it. But if you just put loops on yarn, they'll just move around. So you do what they call something, a figure eight, I think. So you split your wool, take this side, bring it up, put it under, and pull it up, and then connect it up here. Now, for the dip dyeing, you want to leave long handles. This is cotton string, it won't take up the dye. But see, that'll give me a handle to uh, do the dip dyeing in. So you'll see what I mean once we get going. And then I'm going to put this whole skein. This is Briggs and Little Heritage. This is bleached, bleached white. So it's going to end up a little bit lighter than our card, whichever card I choose. It'll be two of the primaries. My system, I just use primaries. So if I use the two primaries, it always will make a secondary color in tertiaries in the middle. So just start with the primary. So here we go again for, did I do that one right? I guess so. Looks a little peculiar, but it'll be fine. Don't do what I do, just do as I say. <laughs> there we go again. Okay, so that's going to be put aside, and we're going to come back to that in a few minutes. <laughs> Here I am again. Okay. So, the ladies in Cape Breton want to know how to do the dip dye yarn. So, these are the two colors that I used for this yarn. By using just the primaries, I'm going to get red, yellow, and everything in between, which will be all of these colors. You see that? Just because I'm using these two primaries, and they follow the color wheel. So, you'll see, you see there's your yellow, there's your, your yellow, your yellow orange, your orange, up here your, your red, your red orange, and then, and then your red. So, this is how this will work. So, I'm looking at this, I can't remember the, what I did, but I'm looking at this, and seeing that this is, <coughs> let's say, a value four. I'm thinking it's going to be about that for the red, too. So, this is where it's a little tricky because I have a card here. These cards are for weighing your yarn. This is all on my website, too. So, a number four, I would. Well, Oh, here comes my husband. Okay, and number four means you take three tablespoons and two teaspoons of the dye. And where I'm using two, I need to divide that in half. And I'm just going to kind of look at three tablespoons and two ta and teaspoons. And I'm just going to do one, two, three. Let's say two, two tablespoons of each color should do it. We might be off by a, t a teaspoon, but that's going to be okay. Do you see how I did that? Three tablespoons has six teaspoons in it. So six teaspoons plus two teaspoons is eight teaspoons. So, we, well, actually, we should do four teaspoons of each, right? Am I right here? Three to no. <laughs> three, oh, for heaven's sake. Three times three is nine, 10, 11. So now that I've really confused you. So we're going to do two tablespoons of each, which is six of each. Okay? <laughs> so we got it. So we're going to take two tablespoons of yellow. And 
put it in this cup. See how easy that is. One. And two. And I have another cup that I will put two tablespoons of the red in. Red. Oh, I didn't warm it up. Here it is. Okay. So we'll do that while this is warming up. Remember, we have to warm up our dyes. One teaspoon of red. Put that in there for a minute. And in the meantime, I'll get some water, hot, hot water. Usually I would use boiling water, but since I didn't have the kettle on, it'll just take a few minutes more. I'm going to put hot water from the tap. I don't have a Vanna White with me today to help me out. So this is just going to go in there. A few little floaty things in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Because they're going to melt out. Okay, now this is good and hot. And I'm going to stir it and put two, I'll put two tablespoons in the same cup. I didn't realize my husband was coming home. And the cat's meowing. Now I'm just putting that aside for later because first we're going to I'm going to take the handles of that yarn and dip dye this. I'm going to move it over to the sink and I'm going to try to do this behind the camera so that you can see. I'm not putting any acid in it yet. I'm not, I, don't, I don't like putting acid right away. So what I'm just going to do is see if I can get these. I did change my loops a while ago and just put plain loops. Remember what I said, don't do as I, what I, as I say. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, listen to that cat. Anyway, okay, let's see if I can do this so that you can see me. You see, I'm just, I'm not going all the way through. I'm just kind of doing this. and I am going to put the acid in now that I've got a few licks in there. I'm a creature of habit. You'll try, whoops, the way that you want to do it at home. And what I'm trying to do basically is not get these two ends wet. So this will go in the microwave now and I'm going to hang these parts over like this. Can you see that? And stick it in the microwave for five minutes. Okay, cat. Six. I'll be back. Okay, here we are back. Five minutes. 
the microwave and this is see how dark it is so I think I might have misjudged the other value it was probably a three so this is going to be darker than the other one but it will certainly go with it so can you see that the water is almost clear I'd like it to clear a little bit more before putting the get the uh, red in there so since this is dark enough I'll put more in and put the red in and while I'm doing that I'm going to move these strings over into the yellow and I will the strings like so. I should have put four. Probably what I did at the demo but so these this will go down to the yellow. Probably just as quick to You're thinking, just go cut two pieces, Lucy, but oh no, that would be the easy way. So see, I'm going into the center of the yellow there, and this one is going to just fall right down into the center on the other side. Okay, so see what's happening here? So now we're going to start dunking the red. And we want it to also go up into the yellow somewhat, a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be much darker. So I may not dip it all. I can't remember so I'm doing it again but I'm probably going to see I'm just kind of pulling that up into this change hands so maybe I'll get some more of the orange into this one want to go almost the whole way into the orange and then see that and I'm just going to kind of wet the whole thing a little bit to take away the brashiness of it almost clear. It does have to go back into the microwave though. So we're going to do that. I'm going to kind of lay it right in and put it back in for five minutes and it will be done. You can see by looking at these two. It always dies, uh, dries much lighter but you can see how close they are. If you kept everything the same, it would all work out each time. So, five minutes, and then I'll be back. Five. Okay. Time to rinse the wool. Should be done. I should say. Okay. So going to grab these hot strings. This is hot water in the tap I put there so as not to shock. <coughs> oh.
Now, normally what I would do is just kind of leave that alone. This has a bit of soap in it, so it's kind of iffy. You shouldn't really do this, but since I'm showing you what I do, put it back in the liquid we're soaking in. Ah, see that? That means there's not enough acid or there's soap in there, so we don't want that. I'll put more acid in there. The acid is what binds the glue to the wool. So we don't put yarn back into soapy water. But soap is what we use to remove dye and where yarn is so porous it should just be sitting there that's pretty clear now it wasn't really coming off the wool itself it was because that water wasn't clear but see it's clear now so should be fine now yeah there we go see clear, perfectly clear I'm going to put a little more water and just let it cool off on its own, I guess, or I could probably just take it out and hang it like this, but it's too hot for me to handle, I suppose. It's hard to remember in doing videos, but let's see if we can see the other one. Now this will dry lighter. yellow but we'll see we'll see when it dries but it definitely will be the same okay that's enough for today bye